Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We are Sarah and Luca. And today we are going to show you five creative ideas, 100% homemade, you can do during this lockdown. Are you ready? Yes, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> you have seen me preparing coffee with the mocha pot a thousand times. Today I would like to show you an alternative to the traditional classic way of preparing coffee with the mocha pot. We are going to prepare together a chocolate coffee with the mocha pot. Unbelievable, right? The initial steps are the same. We fill up with water our mocha pot, add the filter, and then instead of pouring coffee like this, we'll mix together some cocoa powder coffee. We mix the coffee and the cocoa powder together. Here you go. And we fill up the usual our mocha pot. Never press your coffee, remember. To level the coffee, make like this. You may ask why you don't mix the cocoa powder afterward when your coffee is done. I can ensure that the taste will be completely different. It's better to mix the cocoa powder, it's thinner than the coffee, together with the coffee and then put it together in the mocha pot. The taste will be nicer. The fact that the cocoa powder is it's finer, it's different, it's not a problem. You will not ruin your mocha pot. If the powder, the cocoa powder contains sugar, the sugar can get stuck in the machine, so it could ruin your mocha pot. So what I suggest to use always unsweetened cocoa powder. And just like this, you have a delicious chocolate coffee. Another great idea is to make your own organic fire starter. We have received tons of questions about why we are putting the orange peels on our radiator. Luca loves fresh orange juice in the morning. And instead of putting the orange peel citrus in the Straight compost, away yeah, the compost. it could be sometimes problematic. We just use it on the radiator because first of all, they smell really good. Your entire house will smell delicious. And second of all, it's because uh, these are really good fire starters. The oil contained in the peel, in the orange lemon skin, is highly combustible. To prep them for being fire starters, we dry them on our radiator until they are crispy hard. We do this by simply leaving them on the top of our heater radiator for one of two nights, and then they are just ready to go. In order to start the fire, we need some wood. So, Sarah, come with me. Let's go and collect some wood. Let's make some beautiful bundles. Now you know the name. Now I know the name. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Got some big ones here. Small ones here. So, this is our bay tree. And I still want to cut the, the big ones. Uh, I want to keep uh, the small ones uh, and those ones are getting too big so eventually as soon as I will have uh, a new chainsaw I will have to cut those two. They are getting too big and dangerous uh, so I will keep these ones.
getting different size. These are thinner, smaller, this one are the big ones, so the bundles, they will be a mix of different sizes of wood. guys and the smell you know the combo with the bay wood and the orange peel it's incredible and it's working pretty good yeah wow oh yeah without wasting anything and uh, plus everything natural and organic. Wow. Now you know that we are not crazy and why we are putting the orange peel on our radiator. Try this at home and let us know guys in the comments if this is working for you too. I made this wood bundle in order to put more wood, a uh, higher quantity of wood uh, in a short time uh, inside the fireplace uh, so the smoke doesn't come out uh, let me show you maybe it's quite annoying yes it's okay. gonna go like this we put the wood inside and we close it and now we'll see together how to make fresh homemade butter butter is made by churning fresh whipping double heavy cream to separate the butter fat from the buttermilk. It is a very simple process and it only requires a butter churner plus cream that has been left at room temperature for one or two hours. I have heavy whipping cream at room temperature, a butter churner, a wooden butter dish and then a bowl that I will fill with iced water. I'm super excited, let's get into it. Pour the heavy whipping cream into the butter churner. Secure the lid. Turn the handle and churn for 10-15 minutes. You need to be really patient. the glass jar you will see the cream has turned pale yellow and has separated to form butter and buttermilk I will show you right now inside let me do like this you see we have the butter it's pale yellow and the buttermilk now we will separate the buttermilk and we will put it into a jar because we can use the buttermilk for a cake. Don't throw it away. And then we place the butter into, with clean hands into a bowl full of ice. We gently massage the butter and squeeze to remove the buttermilk. We need to remove all the buttermilk inside. Okay. 
There are some paddles that are made for the butter. I don't have it, so we we'll use this one. All right. You can be creative and play about with your flavorings. This time I made a plain butter. Next time I will see now the result and then I will like to do some herbs butter or lime chili butter, honey cinnamon butter. We can be really creative. Now I store the butter in the refrigerator and you can keep the butter in the refrigerator up to two weeks. Now let's wait a little bit and then we'll taste it. Okay guys, so when I try to <laughs> form the butter, this is the result, it's not the best one. I should probably put the wooden container in fresh water and then you pour the butter inside, otherwise you see it was, the butter will stick. But I will use this for the cake, this as well. And it's not beautiful. But I hope this will taste okay. Really good. Mm. Now let's talk about another idea. So yesterday I've been working outside with the O the plants that uh, eventually will die if we will stay outside in the cold winter. These are avocado seeds. We have been collecting them and trying to make them uh, grow like this. These are about uh, three months uh, old. They have been sitting in the, in, the, in the soil for three months. They were all together in this uh, little space. I saw that they had a lot of these bugs uh, in the... In... Larvae. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm taking them away. They are not really good. Uh, they eat uh, the roots. Yeah, we did a research and these are beetle, beetle larvae. So, uh, and they, they stay like this in this stadium for three years. They grow for three years in the ground, in the soil, and they are eating the roots of all the plants. So they are not good for... For the garden actually so what i will do i will let them uh, stay like this outside i will put it um, far away from our garden and uh, i think that there are some birds that love to eat them so will be food for some birds look i remember that we eat something bigger chontakuro in the amazon forest bigger than this larvae oh. yeah guys you should check that video out uh, we can put here some images. Yeah. Okay, okay, so let's taste uh, these worms. Oh. Uh, they're really big. Uh. <laughs> Go. It's like egg. Yeah, they're really good. Just they yeah, they stay, it doesn't good. taste like a bacon. Yeah, but mm. I think that they are worms, so... Okay. I came up with this idea to bring them inside. Sarah and I, we would like to build a greenhouse, but this is a project that we will be doing in the next weeks, so we don't know yet when. So in the meantime, since we don't want the plants to die, outside is getting really, really, really cold. During the night it goes five below zero. So since the space is limited, this is our mini vertical garden. We have different varieties of onions, uh, we have chili peppers, we have many strawberries uh, back there, in front here we have carrots, uh, down here we have carrots, uh, we have um, uh, avocado plants, uh, these are all avocado. You can already see the plants growing uh, from there, some ones uh, are still inside, you can see I don't know if you can see inside yeah, the yeah. leaves are, are coming out. The sprout. Yes. We are keeping all the seeds. Yes. Here we have one. It's also a avocado seed. Trees. We are trying to make them grow as well. And I'm also working on some coconut trees that I would like to 
grow. So what are you doing here? Uh, for now, I'm waiting uh, them uh, to get a little bit softer. So you need to let them uh, at least 10 days in the water, changing the water, and uh, and then we will see. If I will be able to do this all this process, we will show it in a video. At the meantime, we just need to wait and see if uh, we will be able to do it. It's a long uh, process. It takes about four months. So we will see. And the last idea is something to drink. I don't know if you remember, in the past video we picked some juniper berries. They smell so good. So today we are going to make together a compound gin. Compound gin simply means steeping your ingredients or your botanicals in this case in a neutral grain spirit. While the most of us don't have access to a neutral grain spirit, we do have access to vodka. So today it's a kind of infusion. We will put our botanicals in the vodka. It's a process that will last 48 hours. So we'll start now with the first infusion and then we'll see you tomorrow. Let's harvest our botanicals, some lavender, some rosemary. Let's see what we need for this recipe, let's call it like this. We will use mostly the product from our garden, it will be super natural. First of all, you need a jar, better if it's a glass jar, where we will pour our vodka. Then we'll have main ingredients, juniper berries, better if fresh, if you don't have it, you can buy it dry. Bay leaf, rosemary, lavender, coriander, cardamom pods, cinnamon, vanilla, slice of orange and pink pepper. Of course this will not become a super high quality gin because you know a compound gin could not be compared to a gin that it's distilled but this is homemade and you will turn a vodka, I don't know if you like vodka or not, into a quite good gin. So this is the first time for us as well that we are trying this. We will do it together and we will see what will be the result. We will pour now the vodka into our glass jar and we will add two tablespoons of juniper berries. And we will leave it like this, we will store in a dark place, a dry place for 24 hours. And then tomorrow, after 24 hours, we will add our other botanicals. This is my choice, you can choose whatever you prefer. Now let's add the berries. The berries are inside. We'll seal the lid and we'll store it until tomorrow. And guys, you can put the whole, the entire berries inside or you can crush it with a mortar like this. Same is for the other ingredients that we will add tomorrow. So if you want a stronger taste, this is totally personal. I added also the crushed gin berries. See you tomorrow. Good evening, beautiful people. Our gin has been sitting 24 hours and the change in the color is pretty evident. Now we'll add the rest of our botanicals and we will let sit the gin for other 24 hours. I will add one teaspoon of coriander seeds, five cardamom pots, pink pepper, and fresh lavender, rosemary, two bay leaves, cassia cinnamon, one orange peel and some vanilla. Vanilla. 
now we will let sit this other 24 hours we will not be able to see the final product in today's video so we will see it we'll discover it together in the next vlog we are not huge drinkers but we think that this is a nice gift idea for christmas please guys let us know in the comments if you're going to try one of these ideas or all of them we hope you enjoy today's episode and our five creative ideas beautiful people my hair and my beard are growing and are going crazy wild so I would like to know what do you think uh, we show you a video when I cut my beard completely then we show you a video that I had the long hair and I cut my hair and I never saw myself and we never show you guys uh, cutting completely the beard and the hair so let us know in the comments uh, what do you think it is better to go to a barber shop or hairdresser to cut the beard and uh, the hair or is it better if I just shave it completely beard and hair? Or if I shave it completely? Or Sarah does that. So let us know in the comments uh, so we can decide and maybe in a future video do this crazy thing. I have still the bonus for the spa day, right? Yes. Yeah. I would love to Hopefully. go. Hopefully, me too. <laughs> I would love to bring you to the spa. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, if you like today's episode, please show it to us, smashing the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please take a moment to subscribe to this YouTube channel, it's the easiest way to support us and it's the easiest way to help us out. We noticed that still 70% of the viewers are not subscribed to our channel and this is really hurting us, you know that we are really sensible and please it's, it's just really you need to hit a button and it's easy yes and if you want to share with other people if you, you know somebody who would might like uh, our videos our adventures uh, yeah share it with them could be a good idea yes the italian words for today's video are fatto in casa homemade idea idea creativo creative Fatto in casa, homemade, idea, idea, creativo, creative. We love you guys, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao, see you on the Ciao. next one. Good morning. Entriamo così, lo rifacciamo. Dai, no, tenta a cantare. Ma veramente? Dai. 3, 2, 1. You can do during the lock. Scusami. Unbelievable. I would like Luca to taste this coffee. So I will add some sugar and some milk. Uh, I would like you to taste this. Build, no? Make? Make or do? And we are Luca? No, sbagliato. <laughs>